Good morning, moin moin. <laughs> Moja. And you're probably wondering, okay, James, why, why, why are you speaking German? It's because we are living, eating, breathing all things Germany. Germany, all things Germany, all things German. We are here in uh, the southwest of Germany, operating around the mountain range of the Odenwald. And uh, yeah, if we're not in a forest like this, if we're not in a forest, and then we're off on the tour. We're exploring. We're going to be exploring medieval buildings, old German towns, looking at the architecture, eating, drinking, breathing, everything to do with Germany, and then sharing that with you. Of course, in the summer, we go off up the mountains and visiting vineyards, wine yards, and, and uh, oh, cool. So much here to share with you. And if we're in the forest here, we're just talking about random stuff, you know? So today's random topic, because, because, We've just uh, literally discussed how Google f has said to, or turned around and said to the Australian government, okay, Australia, if you implement that law, we're going to be pulling out. Google are going to be pulling out of Australia. That's quite a big thing. That's, that's a big statement. Last year, Google earned $4 billion from the Australian market. We paid $45 million in in taxes. But... If they pulled out, what are the implications with Gmail, with all of the other products that Google offer? So if you want to know more about that, jump across to the other video in the playlist and uh, go and check that out. So today's video, I want to talk about the, the power of social media. And when I say like the power of social media is because a lot of countries would have mayors, you know. So in the UK, you have the London mayor. In Germany, we have local mayors and of course, Frankfurt has a mayor and, and so on. So, elections coming up for the next London mayor. And one of the candidates is actually a YouTuber. A YouTuber with over a million followers. Um, some people like him, some people um, disagree with, with his approach and businesses and courses and, and the way he generates revenue. But of course, you know, social media is very, very powerful. Now, I wonder how how uh, how it's going to play out because this guy was an unknown guy in the in the areas of politics you know and uh they have like a league and he put out a few youtube videos and all of a sudden his position on this league about how close he's going to be to to becoming the mayor just went like Poof. and uh i think it's a very good possibility that he could make it as a mayor the mayor of London. So he's an American guy, he's an ex-finance guy, so he, he understands finances and business and options trade and, and so on. But like, like a lot of pol politicians, it seems that the financial industry generates a lot of politicians or um, people of power. So I'm wondering how it's going to play out uh, for this gentleman known by the name of Brian Rose. Now he's very well connected, of course, because he, he interviews a lot of people on his YouTube channel. Um, some controversial people but you know he's a voice uh, that's there and um i don't know he's very good at social media he's got a company behind him uh for for promoting social media creating campaigns and stuff so this is going to be really interesting and uh, if you look at it it's not just of course social media is a big thing if we look at how the US elections went with uh, when Biden was running and and you had uh, Bloomberg the amount of money that Bloomberg poured in to his election campaign before he withdrew but the amount of the billions that he poured in to his election campaign but it just doesn't seem like he had the social media side of it now down now it makes you wonder the success that somebody could have if they really smashed they really cracked the social media and they had hundreds of millions behind them or tens of millions I think with tens of millions you can create a magnificent campaign for almost any person almost anybody whether it's business or, or running for mayor or whatever but yeah social media really really powerful so I'd love to hear what, what you think about social media the powers of it do, do you agree with the the way social media is do you think it's a little bit uh, 
Do you think there should be more laws about social media? Do you think social media is, has overstepped the mark a little bit by withdrawing uh, Trump's uh, voice with Twitter and stuff like that? But yeah, let us know what you think. All right, cool. I think that's going to be the end of one of these other subjects. Take it easy. Bye-bye.